The focus for the seventh color palette of July 2022 was baked goods. If you're uncertain what July is, it's a limited color palette challenge that I hold that takes place during July, where the aim is to create imagery using no more than five colors. Of course, as five colors aren't always enough, black and white can be used, and likewise, blending modes and transparencies can be used as well. As you can tell by the sketches, I wasn't entirely certain what I wanted to paint at first. That after trying to figure out how to illustrate different type of stretches, I realized that wasn't really what I wanted to create. So I went back and thought a bit more, and while I was looking at the color palette, I realized that it would be perfect for foods, maybe especially baked goods. First up is a cupcake. I really wanted to paint something cute, so I decided to add faces to these baked goods. This kind of goes hand in hand with the fourth colour palette, where I also added cute faces to inanimate objects. And honestly, doing this brought me so much joy, which might mean that this series is a bit bigger than what you'll actually see here. I mean, I only shared three images using this colour palette to my socials. However, I actually made six images and the remaining three can only be seen on my Patreon page. So if you're curious about what these remaining three images are, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon and you'll get instant access to them. Next up is Skulebolle, a Norwegian bait good which translates into school bun of all things. I'm not entirely certain why school is in the name, because they aren't something that's handed out to children in Norwegian schools or anything like that. But that said, I remember learning how to make them during home ec while I was in school. You might be able to tell, but I used more or less the same brushes throughout the July challenge. Though from time to time, I would mix in a few more brushes here and there, as the ones I was using didn't achieve the look or texture that I was looking for. Finally, we have the cinnamon bun, which is one of my all-time favourite baked goods, so it definitely had to make the list. All the images were created in Procreate, but I made some minor amends in Photoshop later on. For instance, I adjusted the size of the baked goods so they would sit better within the canvas and also to make sure that there was a consistent size in the series. Another thing I did was to add a paper-like texture over the image, which I thought added a bit more interest to the image as well. If you have any questions about my process, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them or even address them in a different video. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel and for more of my work, check out my website and my social media accounts.